The first is in Sydney, where a scientist is measuring how fast blood flows around the heart with an imaging tool he calls 4D Flow. 4D Flow is where we can combine a 3D image of blood uh, but resolve the, that with time. So with time, that's the fourth dimension. Blood follows the path of least resistance and when you're cycling, you're doing the same thing. You're flowing around the track just like blood flows around the arteries. Your blood can go up to four or five metres per second or as slow as uh, one or two centimetres per second. It, it forms a, one big giant organism in, in a way and when you look at a big peloton of riders, it's really very similar. So how can 4D flow help us improve how we do operations like pyropies? This is a patient with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Wow. Um, and you can see uh, we've superimposed the 2D image of his yeah. heart. You see his walls are very, very, very thick. thick. We're working on measuring with 4D flow and then taking that data away and doing computer models. Yeah to work out exactly how much they should shave off in that procedure. Oh, that would be so helpful. Because we often have to come off bypass and then sometimes you have to go back on and do it again. Yeah. Um, so to be able to do it in one in hit one would go, be for sure. so yeah, yeah. good for the yeah. patient. One day, 4D flow imaging could be available at your local doctor, making it easier to diagnose conditions like pyropies and helping us plan his surgery too.